Okay, so today we're going to be talking about SMART goals. Okay, so what are SMART goals? We're going to go through the steps that it takes to create a more specific way of, of um, having goals for yourself. Um, so from John Ron, a motivational speaker, said that I find it fascinating that most people plan their vacations with better care than they plan their lives. Perhaps it's because escape is easier than change. So keep that in the back of your mind. That's just talking about how a lot of times we don't want to make these goals or make these plans because it's easier than, than making the change. Okay, so what's our agenda? We're going to define what a goal is. We're going to talk about what you really want and how to get there. We'll go through some helpful hints and gentle reminders. And then we'll kind of sum it up and um, just kind of get a, a summary of it. So what is a goal? A goal is, it gives you direction, okay? So it's kind of a road map and um, steps to take. So a road map tells you turns to take to get to your destination. So similar, your goal is gonna tell you different steps to take to get to your destination. You want it to be specific and um, have an intended result. So your goal um, gets you to your result and the strategy that you use is the process that you go through to get to that goal. Okay, so why do we set goals? Um, basically, it's going to allow you to focus your effort. So instead of spinning your wheels um, and working towards nothing, you are working towards your goal, working towards something. So it really helps you focus that. Um, it gives you a long-term and short-term motivation. So again, similar to you know, that focus of having motivation pointing you towards something instead of you know, this broad general picture of you know, nothing, nothing in front of you and no, no purpose. It also helps us create a measure of success. And that's why we really want to emphasize making goals very specific. Because if it's not specific, you're not going to be able to measure your progress. Again, it gives you something to strive for. So you're not just going in one direction and no purpose, no goal, no nothing. Um, it's a sense of accomplishment and achievement, and it gives you a sense of confidence that you can you know, set yourself a goal of something, and then when you accomplish it, you have that sense of pride and confidence. So it's a really you know, powerful thing for someone to, to set that goal. Um, okay, so most of us probably set these New Year's resolutions. Um, obviously, we do them at the beginning of the year. And a lot of times, they're very general, okay? So we do, you know, lose weight, exercise, drink more water, you know, maybe get to bed a little bit earlier. All of these things are very broad, general. There's really no way to measure um, these kinds of goals and that's why a lot of times they end up not happening because we don't have anything behind them. Um, there's no structure, there's no purpose, it's just this general idea um, of a goal instead of, you know, like I said, that, that road map or the strategies to get there. So again, why do they not work? They're not part of the SMART goal. So SMART goal is specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-based, okay? And that's what really makes these goals happen. If you can measure them, if they're realistic and attainable for you, otherwise, it's not gonna happen. And then also if it's time-based. So you give yourself kind of a cutoff or, or um, a time to do it in. Okay, where do we start? So before we set goals, you have to figure out and determine what your reason or your purpose, um, your why, which is also maybe your motivation, um, which obviously for each of us is going to be something totally different. And then where are you going? So, so figuring out not only your motivation, your why, but figuring out you know, what your goal is and where you're going with it. Okay. Um, so again, that's your destination. And then you want to kind of figure out your strategy of how you're going to get there. So this process um, is kind of, you know, your outcome, but then the actions that you take to get to that outcome. So that's where you get into SMART goals. So we've already discussed what SMART is, but we'll kind of go with a little more detail. 
So S is for specific. Instead of saying, like I said in, in the New Year's resolution, I want to lose weight, making it more specific and say, I want to lose 20 pounds, okay? And then you go, you go even further, lose 20 pounds by exercising 150 minutes each week at a moderate intensity and replace the amount of calories from, from beverages with zero calorie beverages. So going from drinking, you know, the Cokes or sweet beverages to drinking water. So those are really specific, you know, you can measure them, you can look at them and, um, and have something to strive for. So the M is for measurable. So that same idea of a New Year's resolution and no way of measuring or figuring out if you're meeting those goals. Whereas if you're using the SMART goals, you can measure them. Okay, so log my weight and activity. Um, I'll average 1.5 pounds of weight loss for 12 weeks. So again, that's really being specific and calculating and really getting that measurability um, for your goals. And then this one is really important, attainability. So it has to be something that's you know, real to you, important to you, otherwise you're not going to go for it. You're not going to find a way to figure it out and, and meet that goal. Um, so realistic and attainability, they kind of go hand in hand, but it's really important for both of these. Um, the realistic goal needs to, so it's not something that you're just you know, setting this huge, big goal that, that you know, is going to be really, really difficult to meet. It's something that you can actually attain and, and make happen. Okay, so not that it's going to be easy, and not that it's, you know, that you won't have to work for it, but that it's possible. Okay. Um, and again, so it's something that, that is possible and that you're willing to work towards instead of this, again, this big, you know, outlandish goal that's really, really difficult to reach. And then the T is time-based, so kind of, you know, making a deadline for you because, again, if we don't have that deadline, then in our minds, we keep putting it off and saying, oh, I'll start tomorrow, I'll do it the next day, I'll start next week. Um, whereas if we put that time gap, you know, that time cap on our goals, it really helps us to, um, to figure out how to, to meet that in the right amount of time. Okay, so you always want to make a plan and be prepared, but know that you're going to have roadblocks. Know that you're going to have, you know, here's, here's the slide, the picture here that says, you'll never get to work on time. So again, leaving early for work, being prepared, um, and same thing with your goals, is life gets in the way, you're going to have stumbling blocks, you're going to have things come up, you know. If your goal is to start eating better or start exercising, you know, maybe it's your birthday and your goal of no sweets but you've got cake. Okay, so maybe you make an exception for that and you realize, you know, you're gonna be a little bit flexible for that one occasion and then get right back on your goal right after that. So again, it's it's being realistic with yourself and being flexible. Um, and then also figuring out what are your obstacles. So again, going back to eating better. Okay, what's preventing you from eating better? Is it a lack of motivation? Do you have, um, do you need a better support system? Maybe getting your family involved and, and try and encourage them to start eating better so you're not the only one. Um, you know, is it time, time constraints and can you, you know, rearrange your schedule a little bit to figure out how to meet your goals? So again, figuring out your obstacles. Um, okay, so this is a process. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not, it's something that you're going to have to work towards, you know, every day and not just give up on if, if all of a sudden, like I said, you hit that roadblock, you've got to get back on it and, and keep going. Um, and remember that we're not perfect. You're going to, you're going to, you know, make mistakes and you're going to have struggles through the process of, of meeting that goal, but again, maintaining it and, and keep going with it. Um, and then you can't change what you're not willing to face. So if you're not, you know, ready and willing to make that commitment, then maybe you need to look again at your goal and figure out um, to, to how, how to adjust it and maybe look at it a little differently. 
Um, and then also having the right tools. So kind of setting it, that, that kind, of, kind of goes along with being prepared. So if that means, um, you know, for, for if your goal of, of eating healthier, if you can have the right tools, which might mean, you know, getting more healthy groceries put in your fridge instead of, you know, the junk food. So that kind of goes along with the right tools. Okay, so again, figuring out your why, your purpose, your motivation, um, and figuring out kind of the steps that you need to take to get there. And remembering that a healthy lifestyle is a lifelong commitment. Again, it's not something that's going to change overnight. It has to be um, something that you work at every day. Right.